Hi everybody, it's Dr. Julie Navoa. Hi. And Danielle Navoa. <laughs> <laughs> you never say your name. <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh, today we wanted to talk about something uh, pretty serious. By the way, this is Danielle with her normal hair. My curly she, hair. She straightens out her hair every single morning, takes 40 minutes to do that. I love her with curly hair. And for all of you that have never seen her before, this is what Danielle's hair normally looks yeah, like. Yeah, this is the natural. This is the natural Danielle. Crazy curl. Okay. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I w we wanted to talk about something really serious today related to pregnancy. And that is the, the natural emotional changes that occur with pregnancy. I read a story last week which shocked me that a medical practice actually called the police to have a patient um, taken to the hospital uh, because she had some complaints about uh, postpartum depression or postpartum blues. And that is absolutely not the way that we manage patients or we should be managing patients. If a patient is has concerns, if a patient uh, is feeling vulnerable or having issues, I mean, even to the, to the fact that maybe they don't, they wish they hadn't had a baby and as such, uh, or if they have comments about suicidal ideations and things like that, how that's, ha how that's ha handled is that they are sent to the hospital, better uh, be it by ambulance or something like that, uh, or family takes them, but you don't get the police involved for something that's uh, a medical condition that should be a nurturing and comforting environment rather than a hostile and um, a, a scary environment for patients. So. That, that to me was completely unethical how that situation was handled. And if you go to my website, you can read the story. The link is there. Uh, but in any event, we did want to talk about the natural uh, changes that a woman feels through her pregnancy. And I see it all the time. About 10 to 20 percent of all pregnant women suffer emotional uh, changes in their pregnancies that are s uh, so much so that it actually scares them. Uh, and they don't know how to handle it. And we, we really want to stress that it is very, very common. It is something that we can work through as your doctors, as well as referring you to places like the El Paso Behavioral Hospital, which are excellent at help, helping patients that are, that are pregnant or even after pregnancy for the postpartum uh, um, blues or postpartum depression. So we are here to help you, but I wanted to take a few minutes and let Danielle talk about her pregnancy and how she's been feeling because mm -hmm. It's strange sometimes. But here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I've been feeling mainly, uh, I don't know, sad a lot of the times. And then uh, I cry for the most weirdest things. You guys know I posted the other day that I started crying because my dog accidentally <laughs> pooped on the carpet. And I started crying because of that. So, <laughs> Other than that, it just goes from literally like being sad to being like angry all of a sudden. Um and then to being happy is just so weird. It's different. I've never experienced it before, but it's not something over the top, but it is. I know you, whoever's been pregnant has probably experienced that too. They feel emotional, then they feel happy, then they feel upset, and then I feel better once I eat. <laughs> oh, yeah. If she doesn't eat, you better stand back because there's going to be some problems if yeah. she doesn't get to eat. Uh, yeah. Another thing is very important because I get this from a lot of patients is... Uh, the changes in the sex drive. There are some women that absolutely have no sex drive when they're pregnant, and that's uh, very difficult for their for their relationships. Uh, the fathers uh, feel neglected or they get upset about that. Or the opposite, that there are patients that are want to have sex all the time and they're thinking that there's something strange or something wrong with them because they're really, really desiring to have intercourse all the time. And so I try to stress to them that that's perfectly normal as well. So basically it's just communication, speak with your partner, address those issues. If you have any concerns, obviously ask your doctor about that. And just some reassurance because there are so many things that are happening uh, with pregnancy and so many great things and also some concerning things that this is what we're here for so that you can talk to your doctor, talk to your family, uh, talk to your, um, to your friends. Be careful how much you read on the internet because uh, some of it is true, some of it is exaggerated, but at least 
get the right information and that's what we're talking about today. So if you're suffering from those swings and emotions during your pregnancy, it's perfectly normal. If you feel like there is a concern, obviously address it with your doctor. And we as doctors are here to help you. If, if we can't directly help you, we can refer you to places like the El Paso Behavioral Hospital or just a, a few hours or even a few days in, in a hospital setting, which can be very, very nurturing, very, very supportive. And that's what we're really talking about when it comes to pregnancy. Do you have any more comments? No, no not that I can think no. of. No. All right. Okay, everyone, we hope we've answered that question related to uh, depression during pregnancy, postpartum blues, and postpartum depression. Thank you very much.